The Pegasus lineup of shoes has been a workhorse for me. I've owned each pair since the Pegasus 36 up until now the Pegasus 38. And in this video, I want to talk about what the experience of running in it feels like. I've done just short of 300 kilometers in this shoe, of which there was one ultra marathon and a marathon. I decided to upgrade my Pegasus 37 when it started to wear out. You can tell that a shoe is wearing out by the sound that it makes, first of all, when it lands on the ground. It sort of doesn't make a thumpy sound anymore, it makes like a very flat sound when it hits the surface of the road or the trail or wherever you're running. Additionally, the bottom of the shoe also starts to wear out, the portion that makes contact with the road, that part also starts to wear out, the threading starts to give away. And running in a shoe that is starting to wear out might have been, I think, the reason why I was facing a little bit of injuries using the Pegasus 37. So I went out and bought the Pegasus 38. I'm going to leave the specifications of the shoe to other sources but a few things that I noticed right off the bat when I took out the Pegasus 38 was that the upper lip of the Pegasus 38 was quite a bit thicker compared to the Pegasus 37. This makes a difference for me because as I use the shoe and I tie up the laces, the laces on the Pegasus 37 used to dig in into the top part of my foot through the upper lip. Whereas for the Pegasus 38, this didn't happen because of that thicker upper lip. It's not enough of a deal to be a deal breaker or something like that, but it was sure uncomfortable when doing longer distance running things like anything above 15 kilometers or so you would start to feel those threads start to you know dig in into your feet. The shoe looked like a regular off-the-shelf shoe with regular cushiony materials around the construction of the shoe. Uh, as compared to something that Nike offers in its other shoes, uh, even the Pegasus 37 where different parts of the construction of the shoe have different varying thickness so for example, the heel counter may be more stiff, the upper may be thin, etc. It's not that the Pegasus 38 doesn't have a thoughtful design, it's just comparing it to the Pegasus 37, the differences in the construction of the various parts of the shoe aren't nearly as pronounced. Now this doesn't mean that the shoe doesn't perform well. On the contrary, the shoe has been really well for me on trails and the roads. I've run a marathon, I've run an ultra marathon of which a huge part of it was done through trails and I had no occurrences of discomfort or anything like that aside from what I typically feel in any other shoe which I will get to in a minute. A big part of trail running in a shoe for me is I want to be protected from these little stones and gravels and crevices on rocks and stuff like that on an ultra run and uh, this shoe did that quite well. I did have quite a bit of discomfort when I was doing the Malnar Ultra, a link to which will be available on the screen right now. But I think that was because of the particularly challenging terrain, not so much uh, the shoes problem. One look at the shoe and you'll find out that this thing is not at all water resistant or anything like that. The whole material is made out of pure cloth. If the grip of the shoe matters to you, that is done quite well here as well. Oh, and I especially appreciate the cushioning in the Pegasus 38 because I now own the Decathlon Marathon running shoes and this thing is troublesome to say the least. I experience quite a bit of discomfort in this shoe but I do think it might be because of my feet being used to running in shoes that are the Pegasus style of shoes where there's quite a bit of cushioning but uh, maybe I make a video about this one uh, next. I did have calluses while running in the Pegasus 38. I form calluses typically at the bottom of my big toe and at the ball of my feet. I have had calluses form with every running shoe so far so I'm not quite sure whether this happens to other runners as well uh, for them in their shoes or you know maybe I'm doing something wrong. Do let me know if calluses are a problem you also face in the comments below and uh, it might be helpful for me to check it out. The shoe doesn't have much of a curve around the toe box which would increase your speed just by improving your cadence but it's also not completely flat. All of this is just par for the course for the Pegasus line shoes. As I've mentioned before, I've put in just shy of 300 kilometers in this shoe. During that time, I haven't seen any signs of visible wear or tear but I have started hearing that thumpy sound of the shoe go away. So just to make sure I prevent any sort of injury or anything like that, I've switched over to a new shoe, the Decathlon's marathon running shoe instead. Overall though, at a price of uh, rupees 10,000 or 130 US dollars, I do think this shoe is a little bit overpriced. Just by looking at the shoe and owning it for a while, I can't quite tell what is it that is costing the shoe to be this much, this expensive, other than the fact that they can ask for 
that price. So that is the reason why I have switched over to Decathlon's marathon running shoe simply because of cost, not because of anything else. And I would like to try out different brands and different shoes uh, as time goes on. Otherwise, I would have definitely bought the same shoe or maybe a different color, I guess, uh, over again instead of the marathon running shoe from Decathlon. So that's been it from me. Happy running and happy feet. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.